You have a problem with authority. Some, some, somehow the rules do not apply to you. You believe that you are special. You have a problem. Hi, I'm May, and I'm here for Keep Art World. Today we are at the Bath Art Fair at the Pavilion in Bath. It is an original art, direct from original artists, and we are here on the opening night. As you can see, there's already a queue. Let's go and see what's going on. Just grabbed um, a nice little Prosecco here. We are inside um, looking around. I can see that there is absolutely loads of art in here. Quite excited for this. Um, let's go and have a look around and see what we've actually got. Okay, so that was a wander through the first aisle in the Bath Art Show. Um, it's nice and warm in here, there's a good feel about it. I think there's a little bit of excitement in the air, people waiting, getting ready for the night. Um, looking around, looking up, you've got a really good feel, sort of a little bit cosy with the stars above us. So it's Hazel, isn't yeah, it's it? Hazel, yeah, it's Hazel. Okay, yeah. where where did you start all of this? Basically, I was trying, struggling to stay in the city, and I was like, then looking at wildlife and how they struggled to stay in the city, and that's how it all started for me. Yeah. And so a lot of the lot of the animals were about like rise and fall of populations, and then and then I just got into this idea of how to, to use the check panel shapes themselves to tell part of the story. It does anything catch your eye? It's lovely stuff. Lovely yeah. stuff, yeah. It, it is actually, yeah. It is. Uh, it's um, looking really good, isn't it? I, I, but really, as, as I've been here for about half an hour, <laughs> I haven't seen much of it. Okay. If I was, yeah, but I've seen some lovely, beautiful stuff, obviously. But they would say that, wouldn't I? <laughs> so. <laughs> particular we came three years ago before lockdown and we love it because there's such a variety of artists yeah lots of different medias that we like so if we see something we like we will probably buy something it's very interesting I bought work here before ah the artists, okay so return art re return customer yes, yes and they collect art so, yeah um, it's, it's very interesting yeah you know, so on something catches my eye here so there's some really good stuff in here. Another happy customer, maybe. And um, it sounds like lots of people are returners, to be honest with you. It's obviously got a good name already. So how come you've come to this um, art fair this evening? If you follow me, I'll show you. Oh, OK. I'm here because my cousin is one of the artists. Ah, and I've, OK. I had heard about the art fair, but I've never been here before. Yeah. But obviously I wanted to come here to support Heather, who's relocated from Australia. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. That's a long, old way. Yeah. yeah, and actually, it's, I'm very impressed by the standard here. It's a, an excellent event, and um, just was just about to take a tour around. And, and I'm here to film. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. I'm the assistant to one of the artists, but I do actually do the clay work for all of this. My partner Sarah does all the artwork on them, but but I but I actually uh, we share the actual clay part of it. Oh my god! And I'm and I'm a picture framer, so I frame all these as well. So that's the you know, so. beautiful work, beautiful work. I'm absolutely loving these little birds here. Uh, well, Sarah does a little line in that she, she trained originally as a fine art painter, so it means that when it comes to doing a ceramic bowl, even, you know, even if it's a tiny little bowl, yeah. she treats it like she's doing an original painting and will spend many hours perfecting her art form. I yeah. just uh, to keep, keep myself busy during lockdown. And, oh, this is a lockdown project, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's just lockdown things. But like I started doing the wire stuff years ago and then retrained as a boat builder and then did that. And so that's why you get a lot of boaty bits come back into it, all these little things that I've collected over the years. It's a bit therapeutic, it's a bit like sewing. And like, a, so my drawing style is quite single-liney. I like drawing single-line. 
and that translates into wire. And like as soon as it goes into wire, it sort of like gives it this energy. And so then I started animating them. And um, yeah. Which gallery are you? We're a heart of glass. Oh, you literally, okay. I, I should probably read the sign above your head. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> so you're I, representing, I who, how many people are you representing? About, uh, 15 artists work on the stand, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, God, as many as that. So, yeah, so I run a, a gallery in, in North Devon called um, um, Fleet Gallery. That's in Ilford Coombe. Okay. And, um, yeah, I'm really just sort of scanning around, scouting for talent in the southwest. And it's really, really exciting to, um, you know, to see things like this happening and, you know, all for more of this happening, really. Been running that gallery for about four years now. And um, and so Ilfra Coombs itself has got a really good art scene. You know, it's got the, the statue by Damien Hurst and, um, and there's, uh, yeah, and there's some great talent in the town as well. But I'm just sort of looking to, you know, Southwest in general. I've just come out of the Bath Arts Fair. Really good vibes in there. Um, just nice, easy, gentle, um, lovely people in there. Lots of people have come back. A nice thing to come out and just buy art. Um, good place to come. Definitely recommend it. And this is the kind of thing we need to go forward in the art world. I'm going to go home now. So follow Keep Art World. It's been a great night.